What of you? To a kill. Hey, so I'm here at Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. It's a famous tourist attraction. This is the spot where James Bond arrives to meet his contact, CIA agent Chuck Lee. And we first see James Bond arriving on a streetcar right here behind me. This is the exact spot where the streetcar stops and James Bond gets off. And then he walks off in this direction to meet his contact, Chuck Lee. Chuck Lee is posing as a fisherman and he's in one of these shops that's under here. The next part of the scene picks up up here on this wharf, this deck here. And they walk along here and they meet a fisherman at the end. Let's go have a closer look. Okay. $5. Looking for something special? Yes. Soft shell crabs. Might have some in the back. I'll be a few minutes. So this here is where the fishermen kiosks were. I'm not sure if they were constructed for the film. So you see James Bond walk along here and he talks to Chuck Lee makes contact here. And then the next part of the scene picks up right over here. Chuck Lee, CIA. And what you see in the background is this building here and a little bit of this over here. And they go off into this direction to meet the fisherman down here. It's a pleasure working with 007. Thanks. Now, what about Zara? He's in town. I can have him tell if you want. Oh, not yet. One thing I've noticed by walking around here is that there were some benches right here in the scene with Roger Moore, and I wonder if that was set dressing, or in fact, there were uh, benches here back in 1984, and they've since been removed. Mortner? I've got a real winner here. His name is actually Hans Glau, a German pioneer in the development of steroids. Well, that ties in with the horse injections. So they get to the end of the wharf here. You can see this building in the background. And then Chuck Lee calls a fisherman that comes up from here. And then they talk about how Zorin has destroyed one of the best crab patches in the bay with his nefarious plans. And then James Bond goes off to investigate in the bay. Mr. Rock! Hi! Can you spare a minute? Sure thing. The whole operation looks clean, except for a problem with the crab fishermen. O'Rourke represents them. Good morning, Mr. O'Rourke. Here's that reporter I told you about. Mr. O'Rourke, I understand you have a problem. That Zorin oil pumping station ruined one of the best crab patches in the bay. What I really find amazing is how little this area has changed. This building right back here, it looks basically exactly the same as it did in the movie, which was over 35 years ago. I'd like to take a look at that oil pumping station. Yeah, hey, that'll be tough. It's very heavily guarded. There are places all around the world that I've wanted to visit that have been on my bucket list. The Eiffel Tower, the London Bridge, and this one here ranks at the very top. The San Francisco City Hall. Now why, you ask? Because this is the location of not one, two, but three, three iconic movies. Dirty Harry, the ending of Raiders of the Lost Ark, and last but not least, A View to a Kill. So the James Bond production team came here in 1984 and lit fire to City Hall. So they had a very good arrangement with the city and the inside of the City Hall in the movie is on a soundstage in England, but the outside is here and they put those gas contraptions that shoot fire on movie sets that are very safe 
but from a distance, it looks like the whole thing's ablaze. So what you have in the movie is an establishing shot here where Max Zorin, played by Christopher Walken and his henchmen, get out of the car. And also you have the uh, shots of the fire trucks arriving. You have the fire up there and you have James Bond carrying Stacy down the ladder down to here. The night that they were going to shoot the fake fire scene, they were going to be hosing down the building, pretending there was a fire, and everybody got a memo to close their window. However, one person forgot to close their window and their office got soaked. City Hall. City Hall geysers. To all units, intercept murder suspect in stolen fire truck. He may be armed and he's sure dangerous. Raise the bridge R right now? Yes, sir. I got him. Oh, jeez, I got him. So I'm here in front of the Lefty O'Dowell Bridge, also called the Third Street Bridge. This is the location in A View to a Kill where it's the climax of the fire truck chase and the police are chasing James Bond in his fire truck and they come along from this direction and they just plow through even though the bridge is being raised and they do a jump right here. And the police come barreling through here and get stuck on the wrong side of the bridge. And you can recognize the bridge by its distinctive huge concrete counterweights here. After the last car crashes down, you have the captain's police car parked underneath the counterweight here. And as the big weight comes down, it crushes the car. And you can see the gatehouse here. If I get a little closer, what you can see inside it is, it looks pretty much exactly the way he does in the movie with the big lever that he pulls. It looks pretty awesome. So basically I have to stand in the middle of the bridge here to get a, a look at the exact spot where the police car was. The police car would have been right there. And then the counterweight up there comes down and crushes the police car right here. 